Union leaders proving the need for Bill C-377. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. We've been talking about Bill C-377 for some time. This is the union disclosure bill that would allow the public and union members, dues-paying members, to find out how dues money is spent. Well, union leaders have been apoplectic about this. They say they can't possibly do it, even though many of those opposing it are representatives of American-based unions have who have been living with this type of disclosure since 1959. Well, now, union leadership in Ontario is proving this is needed. The Ontario Federation of Labour, and this is, I want to give kudos to Richard Brennan at the Red Star, because it's from the Red Star. This isn't me. This is the Red Star reporting on leaked documents from the Ontario Federation of Labour. They have $1 million in outstanding bills to be paid, a budget shortfall of $200,000 for the first six months, and a $250,000 maxed out line of credit. The only reason anyone knows about this is it was leaked to try and scupper the re-election bid by OFL President Sid Ryan. Ryan is absolutely opposed to union disclosure. He doesn't want anyone to know how the money's spent, maybe because he's been spending it so badly. Uh, Ryan has been the source of leaks for years over his handling of OFL money, but it's so bad that several unions have actually left. OPSU, the Ontario uh, Provincial Service Employees Union, they left. The Ontario Nurses Association, they left. And the Service Employees International Union left as well. They've taken their money with them and say they won't rejoin until Ryan's gone. You know, if we had disclosure, the type of disclosure that American-based unions, including the IAFF, that's the Firefighters Union here in Canada, the Amalgamated Transit Union, they represent bus drivers in most Canadian municipalities. You know, lots of unions in Canada already live with this. The United Steel Workers, lots of them. If, if the OFL had to live within this, then their members would know how the money was being spent. The taxpaying public that grants unions the monopoly to collect dues and not pay tax on it, they would know that the money wasn't being squandered and wasted. Instead, you've got union leaders taking lots of money to run big campaigns for their political purposes, for their own partisan purposes, and to fight against the very disclosure that would help people know dues money wasn't being squandered. Sid Ryan, shame on you.